You know what? Before I get into that story, did you get to check our uh, Bula and uh, Crowbuzz's live? Uh, I saw a repost of it. They're really pushing this versus thing. They're 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 trying to get out this whole versus thing. Like yo, Crowbuzz was saying he has to have the ball cap on if he if he calls yeah, that's, that that's the clip that like I saw. That. Do we need because because we talk about verses a lot, but we keep it uh, obviously the states because the states has been the only ones that do it. Do you think a Toronto versus would work? That do you think people would pay attention to it? Do you think uh we could capitalize off it? Like yeah, yeah that, that would work most definitely, hundred percent. If you just throw it up on the gram, do an adult Instagram live, I think that would work. Okay. That's money in the bank. It's it's it, it might not be like yeah, it's money in the bank because people will stream their music after. You know what I'm saying? You just have to get two popping artists who accumulate like at least a thousand people on their own. Let them combine. And then people will be like, wait, you guys are running tunes against each other? They won't even need to know that the verse is going on. Just spring it on them. You already got a thousand people who already just watch your live when you're talking shit. That's going to be hard because you just mentioned a thousand people on live. Who can get a thousand people on their live? Chromas. But you would have to who else in Toronto? You would have to- Mula. Mula can't get a thousand people on his. He can get a few hundred. He can get a couple hundred, but he can't get like a thousand on like a regular basis. Boondog. <laughs> Boondog only has one song. But, that, but, he but would have you to know, run but for the low and then he... no, but there's artists who can get a thousand. There's artists that can get a thousand, but let's be Lil real. Lil Beretti. Like, I haven't seen Beretti's lives like that. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like French Roadrunner, Paisley, Paisley. There's yeah. all these guys that are out there. They're on Instagram. They're also you know popping artists. The crook, you know what I'm saying? And even if they don't have a thousand from the from the jump, like maybe how Chromas would, you know what I'm saying? And there's other people who, who can get more than a thousand. Don't don't get that twisted. Kofi, Kofi, shout out Kofi, man, right? big thing. From when you see the the the, the five hundred from your page, that's gonna turn into fucking two thousand real quick. When when they notice, oh my god, you guys are running tune for tune against each other. Yeah. Six buzz, let's make that happen, man. Mm. Let's see the whole side that eh? Number six buzz. Holla at Gutsy to host that shit because I know you're going to try to jump that. Yo, fam, just put it this way. You could announce it ahead of time and it'll get numbers. But it, like I said, if you just spring it on the people then and be like, do you all want to see this again? It's money in the bank. Facto. All right, so we're going to get into this right here. I'm scared. Yo, post this. Yo, suck your mom. How about that? I could have just played it from somewhere. Eh? <laughs> on the man damn stop this in the man damn you need to stop posting this goose on your channel and post this no, no how about fuck, fuck you, you. <laughs> yo fab this i have to wake up and listen to this on a daily fam. oh god this is my new daily <laughs> motion, motivational video that when i have to deal with all these annoying people in the dms in all the places where they're bugging me i play this friday video <laughs> A lot of people are wondering who the hell are you? like who got at you Friday? What could, what put you in that mood? Here's the funny thing. It wasn't even that part that it was the main part that I was doing the live about. I know. Right? It was, you know, we got an interview that we were supposed to do that evening that didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that just irks me. <laughs> right? In addition to all the other unprofessional shit, oh, right? So that was the unprofessional shit that broke the, the camel's back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So the, the, the people not, po you know, being rude with the way that they approach for posting and stuff like that, those are just strays. People just de decided to repost the strays. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But I had a whole fucking point. There's a whole bunch of unprofessional shit that y'all artists do. That's just one of them. Yeah, we seen a whole lot of profession unprofessional shit that week. Yeah. It, it, it was like, yeah, it was like a constant of unprofessionalism. And anybody that could take it, they can take it away. But you have to understand, fam. Like, this is the music business that you're getting into. And if you're trying to get out of the music industry or uh, out of the hood and make it in this music industry, you got to be professional, bro, at mm. all routes. And, and shout out to John C., um, he hit me up or he, he mentioned me in this uh, in his story saying, yo, the man them, leave Gutsy alone because <laughs> you can only do, yo, run my track, run my track, run my track. And shout out um, 
uh, today, mm-hmm. <laughs> the, um, John C. and the next Mayu there on the song. I forgot he's not a Mayu, but you know, next guy on the song. I forgot, but um, you got to know how to approach everybody, bro. It doesn't matter if it's us. <sighs> Keep six solid, six buzz. Like you can't just be strong. Thinking like strong arming man's worth in this day and like any day and age. It's not gonna work, bro. It don't only get you so far. Yeah, man, they're not scared of the uni either. Fuck all that. Yeah, shit. and not saying us, but certain men's have man's no, too. I'm saying that I'm not fucking scared of you. <laughs> I'm not trying to put anything in the air, right? I'm, I'm not, not saying to come for me or anything, but like intimidating me is yeah, not going like, to work. It's not going to work, fam. Like you can't intimidate me to run your tune. You can't on a live. You can't intimidate me to post your song on my feed. This goes to my brethren too, because my brethren try it too. Like yo, I've seen so much shit over the years, fam. My they're, brethren, they're, my they're, they're lucky it took this. Sorry to interrupt you. It took. Yeah, yeah. lucky it took this long for me to fucking shoot back. You know, yeah, <laughs> I've been seeing this shit for four years, fam. Fam, somebody tried to get at me and he was like, yo, like homie did this and in that amount of time and da 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 And I was like, fam, like, and if it's one song, like, so what? Like, people pay me to post on their fucking page, fam. Like, I'm, you know, I'm under Chroma's payroll, apparently. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to just do more than just have one song that's bumping. And you, you can't just like... Even to my friends, like, I'll help you out. Like, I'll throw, if you're my friend or you're close to me, maybe you'll get, like, a story post. You know what I'm saying? But, like, at the same time, be professional when you're coming at me. If you're just, yo, post this. It's what I demand them. No, I'm not, like, why? Yeah. Because if I come to you and I tell you, post this, tell your man them to post this because I'm one of the man them. You're not, he's not doing it. Exactly. So. And, like, I do that with threats and shit, man. Like, fuck off, bro. Yeah, we do with that, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck off, man. I'm sorry. Like I used to feel sorry, cause I love everybody. I love I love my niggas. I love the hood. Yeah, fuck. I want everybody to win. Don't ever get that twisted. But if you're going to be an asshole, why the fuck should you win? <laughs> because they see other people being assholes and they think that's how they win. No, nah, man. Nice. Motherfuck- Motherfuckers is not really going into the, the 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 labels and shit and being all rowdy and shit. It's not. No, that's not how they're winning, fam. No, nah, man. We're not doing that in 2021. If you're going to be an asshole, I'm going to treat you like a fucking asshole. Sorry. Yeah, we're changing the narrative, man. We're shaking shit up. I told you, 2021, we're shaking. We love hip hop. Network is shaking shit up. And that's the point. Like, we're trying to change the narrative. We're helping you guys. Like, this is not a diss. Like, at the end of the day, this is going to help you guys. When a label actually does say, hey, come in here, so-and-so artist. And you know how to come actually approach the fucking... Uh, a meeting and you know how to sit down with you and your manager mm-hmm. not you and your fucking whole crew the whole freaking hood comes behind you nah fam they'll, they'll be like ah you know what sorry something came up yeah that was part of my rant too eh? yeah like <laughs> but yeah come on you know they're only gonna get the the, 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 the suck your mom suck post your mom. this whatever whatever but I was talking about bringing 30 niggas to your interview all that shit it's unprofessional shit cut it out yeah, man. Let's let, let's do better. Let's do better. Let's let's promote let's promote professionalism. Yeah, man. Like in the end of the day, just to put this in a tight bonnet or well, fucking. Like we're actually being super nice, fam. Because if you go over to the states or you go to these big labels, they ain't gonna give you half the fucking chance. They'll right. see thirty niggas coming to the door and be like, "Nah, lock that shit." Next. 